Happy Tuesday, this is Dow Welsh welcoming you to Make Your Own Headlines. Sponsored by Kobolowski Tire and the letter G. So, do you say tomato or do you say tomato? Do you say potato or do you say patata? What about do you say pecan or do you say pecan? Yeah, you need to get that last one worked out before Thanksgiving. I know the temptation is to think that next week at the table, your cousin Eddie and your neighbor Mr. Belvedere are going to be debating politics and social distancing. But statistically speaking, they will probably debate the name of the pie your Aunt Edna brought. So, which is it? Pecan or pecan? Betty Gold of RealSimple.com decided she would go straight to the horse's mouth, or in this case, straight to the grower's mouth. Her researchers recently asked growers across the pecan belt from the Carolinas to California how to correctly pronounce the word. Here's just a couple of the responses. Lenny Wells is a professor at the University of Georgia in Athens. He is a professor of horticulture and, get this, an extension horticulture specialist for pecans. That's a pretty cool title. He said the best response he ever heard is from a fellow grower who said this, When they bring $2 per pound or more, they're pecans. When they bring 50 cents to a dollar, they're pecans. There you have it. Larry Wilson is a grower in Albany, Georgia, and he said there are two answers. The first he got about 40 years ago from an older gentleman who had been a driving force in the pecan industry. And he said this, son, most people say pecan, but us growers say pecan. Well, there you go. Larry's other answer is this, we don't care how you pronounce it as long as you buy them. There was a man who had been born blind, and many witnesses attested to the moment that Jesus healed the man and gave him sight. The man was brought before some of the leaders of the day who were trying to slander Jesus, trying to label him a sinner and a hoax. The man responded to those leaders and said something like this, You know, you can call him a sinner, or a signer, or a prophet, or a profe, or a hoax, or a hoax, but here's all I know. I was blind, but now I see. Listen, don't get too tripped up on pronunciations or recalculations or difficulty with your family relations or wanting way too many explanations. If Jesus has made things right between you and God, then just be the kind of wonderful nut that lives by those simple words. I once was blind, but now I see. Make that one of your headlines today.